This commentating for you folks is what I love to do, and this is one of the things that I love commentating. I'm completely serious here. Zoner battles. Really? With Shinji. Absolutely. I, I grew say. up on this stuff. <laughs> I would commentate every week, numbers Shinji, grand finals, 10 games, five timeouts, and I loved every second of it because these games are actually way more intense than you think. Yeah. The fact that this might not be quite so much because uh, Snake has a lot of kill power, but if they want to slow down the pace of the match, they really can. And that means that whoever has the percent lead dictates it all. Yeah, what I especially like about this is that both of these characters have so much to manage amongst themselves. <laughs> oh my god. And they also have to worry about mitigating the pressure from their opponent who's managing just as much as them. <laughs> like, there's so many things to think about at once right. for yourself and your opponent. <laughs> yeah. And oh! oh, and he gets the footstool. That was so good from Pobo. Man, I, okay, so Bobo, I don't think he's ever taken a set from Sinji. These two have not played very often. Uh, and the fact that Bobo was getting, getting better and better, I think he'd like the chance for this to be him to showcase it. He's been getting yeah. amazing wins lately. He got a win on Ling Ling. He has wins on Jen. He beat and Jen twice this week and won the whole won the encore. last two encores yeah. also. Th Thursday before last and then this past Thursday. He wants to continue that trend. He's in winner's finals. And yes, he's facing against probably his toughest opponent yet. But right now, he's looking like he's in a pretty good position. Yeah, he really is good at, at not over committing. I've noticed especially like a great example of that right there. He went for forward tilt. First hit didn't connect. Okay, I'm a reset. All right. All right, now one thing about this matchup. Uh, Hydrant acts in ways that it w never should. Just because the existence of grenades and everything. You know, it gets, it seems like at random times it gets launched out at weird angles. Sinji, who is honestly knows his character better than anyone else, pretty almost like a, maybe in the world. Maybe, honestly. Yeah. He, even he's been caught up by like, oh, Hydra's coming at me now. Interesting use of the C4. Hydra Satan, I think. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Sinji using the key and getting nothing <laughs> out of it. Oh, they're having fun. Uh -oh. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Way out the there. cypher saving his life. <laughs> that was a flurry of forward airs we just saw. Great job by Sinji racking up the percent on Bobo's and last stock. Okay, I'm really liking this. Bobo has not been able to really reliably ledge trap Sinji. He has so many mix-ups off the ledge, and if, especially if you're not really familiar with the matchup, you're going to get tripped up by it. You're like, wait, what the heck? How did he end up there so quickly? And as a result, Sinji has been able to dodge most of the percent that normally... Uh, Bobo was able to dish out against his opponent. The other thing that's really impressed me is typically in the snake matchup, you're going to see a lot of trades. And we did at the start of the match, but since then, Sinji's been doing a really good job kind of keeping out of that pressure. Yeah, and I was saying before how percent leads can really matter, but what honestly is killer in this particular set, stock leads. Yeah, now Bobo finally... Uh, he has brought Sinji down to his last stock, and Pac-Man sometimes can struggle to kill. Not with that. Unlocking the key to get in the kill. Or unlocking the door to get in the kill. Yeah, with the key. Yep. That's what that's what I said. <laughs> Yo, Sora in Smash? Sora in Smash? What about it? How did uh, that come up? He's got the key. He's got the keyblade. Oh, the keyblade. Okay. Honestly, I could talk about DLC all day, so if I get started. I won't stop, so I'm gonna avoid that. <laughs> um, at least, at least until we get a, uh, a yeah. much less exciting set, <laughs> yeah, yeah, which yeah, we yeah. might not have the chance to. Every set that's gonna happen, and it looks like it's gonna be a great one. Yeah, you hear that? It's actually worth keeping your eyes open for the rest of the night. If you're not looking at the screen, you are silly. Unless you know you just have us in the background, in which case, uh, yeah, our I mean, dulcet tones will act as a decent substitute. <laughs> I, 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 I thank you for having my voice in your background. Anyway, running it back to uh, PS2. I like it. There's, there's space for both right. characters. Uh, C4 is on the left platform right there. It is. You can't see it too well, but it's there. And I will say, Sinji, Sinji doesn't need our PSAs. It seems like he's always been aware of where uh, C4 is. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, considering the character he plays and the awareness required to do it, I think he is just always just like, C4 is there, and I know it is there forever. Yeah, look, he like went to run over it, and then he air dodged back. <laughs> 
Yeah, and, and that's really good. A good thing to credit Cindy for acknowledging that because Bobo, in general, he actually pretty much for the most part does a good job of making people forget about it. A lot of the Westchesters... Uh, excuse me. A lot of the Westchester Snakes do that a lot, where they plant a C4 somewhere, the other player just forgets about it. Oh, Sinji not one of them. Then these guys are going blow for blow, but honestly, they're exchanging relatively. He got the weak sticky hands. on him. I think. Did he? Yeah, it's on him. I see it on. Him. Oh. Yeah, there it is. He popped him up. All right. Yeah, I think that. Well, I mean, he couldn't. I'm confused by how. Uh, Sticky works in terms of transferring. Is it that if Snake grabs it, even if if he gets grabbed, or if he grabs, does it transfer? I honestly, I think I probably know much about it as you do. I feel like I've transferred Sticky by like air dodging through Snake sometimes. I don't know. It feels weird. If anybody uh, in our in our bird's eye view wants to let us know, if anyone <laughs> uh, in our eye in the uh, sky, yeah. <laughs> That's you. Oh. oh, he just barely missed that. And that's actually huge for Bobo. 147% and he's still alive. Sinji could very easily die right now. But the big thing that we that you probably have noticed, up tilt's not really a thing in this matchup because of how evasive Sinji is. Don't prove me wrong, Sinji. <laughs> I just made a whole thing about it. But yeah, like, Sinji's just not putting himself in the position where he can get up tilted. One thing I will say, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, I actually think Snake likes being at 150. <laughs> I don't know. It's like, it's kind of proof. Yeah, he's got a bit of that shonen anime character it's like, power. It's like kind of like, oh, well, maybe he didn't like it there. But it's like proof that it's like, I can trade with grenades all day. I got myself up here. <laughs> I mean, okay, he doesn't like being at 150 because it means he can't use C4 to recover. Mm, maybe not. Right, Sinji keeping up the pressure. One thing I noticed, Bobo's done a really good job of not letting the uh, Hydrant control anything too much. He's yeah. been using C4 for that a lot. Mm -hmm. and now, In fact, uh, it's been like exclusively his way of dealing with it, almost. Closing the gap a little bit, Momo, but Momo, Bobo only down uh, 30% right here. That friendly neighborhood reminder, C4 is on the white part of the Pokeball. Oh, and it was. Until you said something. <laughs> but Bobo. I said it at the right time so people knew that I was paying attention. Right, right. There you go. Bobo looking a little flustered here. Kind of going for some panic options like dash attacking into his shield, for example. See what yeah. do to make up for this. You know, username was er here earlier talking about how Bobo's endurance is actually really good. But this is the ultimate test of endurance. This is like your... 56k marathon, you know? <laughs> Going against Sinji, because not only is it like kind of this zoner battle, but it's a zoner battle that demands your attention. You can't just zone out and be like, all right, I'm just going to wait a while and, you know, wait for my opponent to right. approach me or whatever. It's like, you are constantly putting in work. Oh and as I say that, wow, gosh. actually getting the combo. Yeah, you better read every word that's in this book because, wow. Study for what's on that the is what is maybe. required of you to beat Sinji. All right, now we'll see if your uh, statement earlier is true. Snake is once again at 160. It's yeah, how how happy is he with this scenario? I mean, he seems to be having a lot of fun with these grenades, like almost playing catch. Uh, with C4 his kid. is on the left platform there. Oh! It is. You see it kind of hanging out over that gray spot. Oh, trying to catch him, but a little too late there. See what he's got planned next for him. Sinji doing a great job closing the gap. And now... I believe he has key right now. Okay. All right, Bobo, just camp him. You're up by 4%. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I think Galaxian is super scary. Look how much oh, damage it does when it nice. connects. I love watching Sinji play because he does this thing where he throws out an item and then he just picks it up and that way he can control where he's going to throw it instead of staying in place or letting the player know when <gasps> to expect it. Okay, that's huge. Will Sinji be able to close out this game? So far we've seen Bobo do a really good job of surviving. Granted, he hasn't really been taking super early stocks. So, and I think Sinji's just doing good. Like, that's one of the hallmarks of Sinji. He does not he does not play risky enough that you're just going to get crazy early kills on him. 
gosh, this is so tense. <laughs> All right, going up to meet him with that out there. Oh, I love the air dodge there. Actually, I haven't seen many uh, directional air dodges coming out of Bobo at all. Which is probably smart, because you don't want to fall into a frame trap against Pac-Man. Alright, he has key once again live. That's one of the fast... Like, it's a good move to kill because of how far it goes. He actually meets him, uses the Hydra to get himself a little extra height, and up air is going to connect. That's game two for Sinji. He's one away from being in grand finals on her side. Oh, man, I love when Pac-Man kills with his feet to end a game because it's like you're booting him on out of here. <laughs> Getting the boot. Also Kick because, I, I don't know, in my head canon, uh, Pac-Man's shoes squeak. They do. They squeak. Your head you know, cannon, they squeak. Every they time, look every time squeaky. He, they look squeaky. Every time he hits you with like down there, you just go squeak, squeak, squeak. Huh. Well, things I've never thought about, certainly. <laughs> <laughs> These are things I think about all the time. <laughs> Alrighty, as you can see, Bobo, even into this game three at the start, Ooh. seeming a little shaky here with okay. the grabs. I just want to point out, now that we're on FD, no platforms, Sinji in his face a lot more. He's putting on the pressure. He's not retreating to platforms. He has none to retreat to. And instead, he is playing more of a boxing game. Pac-Man's up-close date frame data is really good. Yeah, we were talking about that earlier. And honestly, Sinji, every match I've seen him play on FD today, he's been doing quite fantastic. So. Interesting that Bobo would take him here. What do you think is the reasoning behind that? Uh... Zoner specialty kind of stage, or I think it was the big thing was the platforms. Okay, you saw how Sinji was using the platforms that is so true. magnificently well in the last game. So just take them away, take away all platforms. That's it. Also, you don't get thing, platforms anymore. The other thing I might think about is that Bobo can kind of control which side of the stage he wants to be on a little bit more with the C4 always going to be on the ground. How does he go fast? Like, I feel like most of the time when he ciphers, it's slow, and then he does like something and he just zooms up there. I'm not sure what, exactly what that is. Oh, wow. Even on the reverse, the B reverse right there still getting caught by the grab. Okay, Nikita not going to catch him. Very good recovery by Sinji, jumping up high to get back to center stage, and now he's the one controlling things. Gonna hide behind the hydrant. He does that a lot. I love that. It's so simple but effective. <gasps> oh, okay, that strawberry could have led to something really cool, but Sinji instead opted for some option coverage. And look at this, he's about to be lapped in percent. This is... Honestly, every game we've seen so far has been closer than this one. It seems like Sinji has finally fi really figured out what Bobo wants to do. But as I say that, the stock is taken. That's 100% that's on Bobo's body. Yeah, Bobo killing in uh, ways that I haven't really seen for the most part. Usually you see it with like that up tilt or, you know, another up tilt. Uh, <laughs> is that going to be it? Is, oh, wow, the Hydrant saving him. He, uh, he could use C4. But uh, yeah, in this game, Bobo killing for the most part with aerials so far throughout the set. Well, I mean, I think it's a big thing is that Pac-Man, like Sinji, is really good at playing around your options. And you'll notice the way he's going about it, he never, never puts himself in the range to just get up tilted. And so, Bobo has to go meet him. Yeah, and also having enough tools to prevent himself from getting grabbed. I think both players in general, even till this game, like, Sinji got a few grabs, but... Up until this game, you really haven't seen much. Now, earlier, Bobo, ooh, he's a lot. Oh, my God. I thought he lived. That was weird. That felt like a delayed stock taking. <laughs> okay. Now I was ready to write off Bobo out. I thought that he was just going to sort of, you know, Sinji would just go further and further ahead. But right now, he's actually able to get a lot of damage here. And he actually, what was that, C4? I don't even know what that was, but it managed to take the stock. Right now, uh, Bobo's looking like he might actually make this comeback. Can this be the start? He did lose to Ling 2-0, and then made the reverse 3 in order to actually win the set. So will he be able to do something like that here again against Sinji? 
Wow. Imagine he kicked him into the melon. That, I feel like that's what Sinji wanted. I do. Uh, C4 is on the middle of the stage right there. Cute as a button. It's cute as a button? Did I just yeah. hear that? Yeah, I'm like, am I getting tired of it? just called C4 cute. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to say. Normally C4 is not cute, but it was, it was in a cute little place. Okay. <gasps> oh, no, no. oh my god! Okay, that... Okay, you saw Bobo shake his head. That's because he's like, alright, I think Sinji knows what I'm about now. Oh my god! <laughs> Did you see Bobo wink? Did you see the <laughs> wink he just gave the camera? Dude, Sinji actually had a little bit of a soft smile there, too. If you looked at his face, he was like, okay, I see you, big well, dog. I think that in that general, cool. when stupid things happen to you, the proper response, the competitive Shake response, it off. laugh about it. Just yeah. laugh it off. Yeah, honestly. That was... Wow. Honestly, the whole match, Bobo was playing from behind. But now, uh, since you're getting to take him back to the first two games that he won, or the, the stage where he won his first two games. Sorry, that was a out-of-structure sentence. <laughs> Alrighty. Listen, word order is a recommendation. A recommendation, in true. That is it. Or that it is. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. It, that is. <laughs> anyway, anyway. Um... I think, we're, yeah, we're definitely going to need to see some more uh, neutral exchanges won by Bobo. You definitely can't win with just one trick up your sleeve. Um, but it's very encouraging for him to show some more life in the winner's bracket. All right, Sinji playing. Yeah, like you said, uh, why he would take him to FD. The platform's really working out for Sinji, the way he utilizes them. Um, I noticed he, he uses them as a place to charge, too. You know, like, come and get me, dude. I'll jump. I'll respond. Also, notice the fact he's putting hydrants underneath the platforms to make it a little bit more difficult for him to just blow it up with some core. Yeah, or just to navigate the stage in general, you know? Yeah. Very smart adjustments coming out here from Sinji. Oh, he was definitely going for an up smash. But I don't up, think so. You don't think up so? Up smash wouldn't have killed. Oh, maybe he wants right. to keep it fresh, and I think that was more damage. Up tilt okay. to up air. Yeah, up tilt missing the mark, though, unfortunately. Up tilt actually is a move that I never see Pac-Man use. Until today, I've seen Sinji get so many confirms out of it. It's crazy what he can do with this character. And what you can learn just from watching him. We do have C4 on the middle of the stage right now. And the story that has been told for most of the set, Bobo playing from behind. Even more that's so That's the first there. apple kill we've seen so far. It's something that Sinji has gone for, but that's the first time we've actually seen it come to uh, fruition. Fruition. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Very nice. Uh, I saw him. I, you know, I was going to comment on that earlier, that he went for this forward smash. At a time where I, I don't know, I thought it was questionable considering that Sinji loves to jump from the ledge. Mm. But uh, I guess the big thing about it is that all you need, all it just needs to work once. That is true. And what better way than in a game four scenario deep into the set. But Sinji racking on lots of damage at once, seemingly from zero to a hundred in seconds. He's dead. And now he's dead. Definitely the opposite of what you want to be as the, the player who died. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta lay it out there. Very obvious. Listen, sometimes, you know, uh, all I'm gonna say is sometimes the audience is really stupid. <laughs> they really don't get it. And you gotta. <laughs> oh, he just throws him. Chuck him. <laughs> and I want to remind you this is Bobo, possibly his last winner's stock here. And if he gets knocked into losers, there are killers waiting for him. I think right now, especially in this situation, Bobo's kind of like back against the wall kind of thing. You're really starting to see why he's such a great player. Is He's going for some reads that, although they're not working, they are really smart. For example, I, mean, I, I don't want to talk too much because what if he just dies right here, but at the ledge, like for example, he's going for like up smash pointed in towards the stage before he did. 
was like, that's a good read to go for when you're down. Go for go for them schmix ups. Oh, shield pressure. That's all you're getting for that sticky. Yeah, and oh, man. Is that it? No, see, up smash not really that strong. I like of a the ID. Snake's a heavy boy. Forward air connecting, but it's on stage, so it doesn't actually give him that much. Oh, I like the idea behind that, using the water to perhaps boost him through. But even then, Sinji knows his hydrant. He was ready for it, and oh, 144. This might be the end for him soon. Down air, such a strong move. One more hit, one good solid move, especially if Snake is already out there in the blast zone. He is gone. Sinji see? wins the set 3-1. Sinji's up air hit him from what looked like was bubble.